This video introduces prompts and walkthroughs, guides you through the in-app guidance builder, and gives a tour of the setup page. Then you can build your own in-app learning tools. Prompts are a small pop-up window. The user notices the prompt, then takes in the information, or takes action. Walkthroughs are connected prompts that provide a step-by-step -step guided experience across a single or multiple pages for in-context, hands-on learning. Bring your unique knowledge of Salesforce and your users to create your own prompts and walkthroughs for in-app feature adoption, onboarding, and training. It all starts on the in-app guidance setup page in Lightning Experience. From this page, you can also adjust global in-app guidance settings, like the time delay between in-app guidance. Also, you can quickly test prompts and walkthroughs that you create, or see how many free active custom walkthroughs you are currently using. And you can see all the in-app guidance that you create or install. The table lists the name and type of the in-app guidance, along with the app and page location. You can see who created an item by looking at the created by and managed package columns. In-app guidance has some great out-of-the-box monitoring features. Verify the items that you want users to see with the active column. Monitor the engagement of in-app guidance using the views column. The completes column shows the percentage of users who click the action button or link, or complete a walkthrough. Here's how to perform common actions for in-app guidance. Open the row level action menu to edit, preview, clone, reset metrics, delete, and activate or deactivate in-app guidance. And you can clear errors in walkthroughs. When you feel ready to try your hand at in-app guidance, you can get started by clicking add. The in-app guidance builder opens in a new tab. The Builder header is your home base to add, edit, and preview your prompt or walkthrough. Most of the Builder is a preview of your org. You can navigate around to find the perfect place for your in-app guidance. The header lets you know what other in-app guidance is on the page. Click Add to place your prompt or walkthrough. A right sidebar appears to guide you through authoring. And for walkthroughs, a left sidebar appears to help you move through the steps. Look at the header for the buttons you need to perform actions in the Builder. And for more info, be sure to check out the videos on how to create prompts and walkthroughs.